いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
This could get rough. With finesse. What's that thing? Oh, it's a crawfish. What's it doing out here? You crawl up out of the river? Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Mon voyage, little buddy! Oh, my sweet Nancy! Huh? Oh, my poor girl! I don't see her anywhere at all. Crap, don't tell me. That crawfish just now was yours? Yep. Raised her with my own two hands, I did. Her name's Nancy. Normally, we stroll around the neighborhood together and get us some exercise. That sweet little gal was my only beacon of hope in this dark, cruel world. Oh, Nancy! Dude, I'm so sorry. If I knew she was important to you, I never would have done that. I understand. You did it with good intentions. Besides, it's my fault for taking my eyes off her. Well, I don't see her any... But don't dwell too much on it. Hold on there, old-timer. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. They'll eat me up inside if I don't. Huh? Why, that's certainly generous. Well, I can give it a shot. Gee, thanks. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, and I'm Ebihara. I call these streets my home. If you do get hold of Nancy, could you come find me along Sakura River Street? That's my usual spot. Of course. And I'm caught. One thing I should tell you is Nancy has an X shaped scar on her back. An X shape on her back. Hopefully she hasn't gone far. If I'm lucky, I'll find her downstream.
Where, though? What's this? Hmm? No. Is this? No. Is this? What's this? Hmm? No. What's this? Hmm? No. What's this? Hmm? No. Hmm? No. Hmm. Hmm? No. Where, though? Is this? Hmm? Yeah. Gotcha! Last time I caught a bug was back when I was a kid. Never know when you might need a bug on your side. I'll keep it. Hey there, Kasuga-san. Yeah, this is Nancy, right? Oh, Nancy! Oh, thank goodness you're safe and sound! I'm amazed you actually found her! Oh, I'm sure it was no easy task. Yeah, wasn't a big deal. Besides, I started this mess. Thanks for being cool. Anyway, I gotta bounce. You and Nancy take care. Oh, can't you stay a while? I was just about to start cooking. I'd be more than happy to treat you as well. I don't. Oh, know. don't be modest. I've been planning a feast for some time. I guess I could. S but before we get to the main course, hey, what did? Uh, what is this? Hmm. Kind of rubbery. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, those are weeds I found in a hole in the road. Couldn't. <laughs> but seeing as you're still kicking, I'd say they're just fine. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Next time, test your road weeds on someone else. What? You're stealing one piece, aren't you? Besides, yeah, I'll pass. You're... At any rate, we're just. Our main course today is what I call the Ebihara Special. Hey, what's that got to do with Nancy? <laughs> what else? I told you we were feasting, didn't I? Nancy here is the main course. What the hell? Have you lost it? 
I thought you cared about Nancy. Oh, yes, I, I care about her deeply. This little sea bug's a cut above the rest. Uh, oh, she's the tastiest one I ever did see. So she's just a meal to you? Hey, do us homeless folk, crawfish for God, and to get her plump and fit, I took her out daily to toughen up her limbs. I worked so hard to sculpt her into a meal, I nearly had a heart attack when you chucked her. You should have said that before. I thought you was your pet, man. Why else would I bust my ass to find her? <laughs> You're not wrong. Then here, you get but nothing like the first crunch of a fresh crustacean. Here goes! Hold on a sec! Huh? What's with you? Freshness is fading, you know. I... Uh, could you hold off on... Huh? Oh, what are you saying? Now... The thing is, I kind of got attached to Nancy. All that searching gave us a real bond. Huh? You bonded with a sea bug? Hey, you're the one who named her and took her for a walk. Well, now we have a problem. I've been waiting for days on end to sink my teeth into Nancy. And I can't think of much else that'd give me that kind of satisfaction. Damn. However, if someone were to bring me something just as tasty, yeah, I might reconsider. Perhaps I could be persuaded with... Oh, come on. Now you're just... Sorry, son. I don't have many options here. Unless you're intent on... Okay, okay fine. I'll bring you your goddamn soul. Oh, please... それでは
まで行かれますか。それでは。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。いらっしゃい。
ありがとう Gracias. Ready when you are.
それでは。Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. I, mean, I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on Restaurant Row. 
Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claimed she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get it out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sachan! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot! I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh. So you want to go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Ah, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Liuma! Get them where they stand! Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them! Yes, yes sir. sir! Your job! Let's do it! <gasps> yeah! You're gonna get stuck! <gasps> I got this! Don't get caught! Alright! You're gonna be in a Watch world this. of Have fun with this! <laughs> Here we go, Leo. This out. Want to fight? Oh, yeah? I'm not that bad. Logic, dude! Get serious. Don't get cocky. Come on now! 
Don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could've fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker! Hey! Bring the manager in here! I want to tell him how the Honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps! Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk! What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the Soapland? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu Clan turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but, you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liu Meng was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and zhe zhe. Hello and thank you. But well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart. So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not
not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong, anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san, but I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Jang said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liumang guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? <sighs> I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. But thanks for not being a prick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> uh... Hey. Yo. Got it.
safe. <sighs> Time to head on back. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at... This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Oh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she... <laughs> That's right! Me too. something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Uh, look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijinchu. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... Hmm. Well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to.
Never thought about uh, but it's not just trash it's memories of my wife memories uh, I used to run this place with my wife we didn't make much but life was good right I heard this place used to be legit then one day my wife collapsed while tending the store by the time they found her it was too late and she passed on despite her health. She worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. 
If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. <sighs> to think I wasn't there for her. <sighs> I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. And I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? <gasps> I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh, Gomi-san. I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. You might want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days.
that takes me back. What? A photo studio? I had a family picture taken here when I was little. Both Nanoha and I were so nervous, we did not look cute at all. And the photo still got displayed in the showroom. Guess you two were cute even back in the day. Well, I won't deny that. Oh, looks like the studio went out of business. Uh, sign of the times, I guess. You don't see too many taking family photos nowadays. Guess not. That's too bad. I wonder if that picture we took is still at the house. You know, even if the picture is gone, the memory of getting it taken is what really matters, right? <laughs> right. Hey, why don't we all take a picture together sometime? Even if it's just a phone pic. Yeah, let's do it. Stand a chance. Okay. I got this. You're gonna get stumped. Have fun with this. Watch this. Lie. Get serious. So Yeah. Watch 
watch this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> hmm? So. Got it. <coughs> Excuse me. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go-getter, aren't you? Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that... Okay? Yeah. Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director... Yeah. Okay, take a look then. About, I'll be able to place you in more job. Your option. Uh, I gotcha. Anyway, here, of course, you're responsible for any adjustments you must make when you change jobs.
Roger that. So this is how we change jobs. Yes, just talk to me when you want to try out something new. There's no limit to the number of times you can switch, and you can always resume your previous job too. You may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you. Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. Well, that's in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Uh, sure. I'll remember that. And that'll do it, I think. Now, as for that part-time job at the Yokohama Trading Company, which you and the director spoke about, they called us to say you're hired. No, really? The warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, Ririka-chan. We'll be back when we need to change jobs. Looking forward to it. Ririka-chan? I'm glad you're so excited. Please come by any time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 